I thought it would be fun to check in with Masters of the Universe Revolution just to see if anybody's excited about this at all. And they're not. Spoiler alert! They're not excited. Very sad. Five days. It's been five days since this first look trailer dropped. And it's only got 339,000 views, which is Kind of low, considering all things. I think the first one trended. I, I don't remember. It's been a while since since we've talked about He-Man in detail. When this series comes out, I, I'm sure we'll get a lot of reactions, and it'll be fun to talk about it. But as of right now, no one's really interested. And you can see it right here. It's been ratioed, barely. Not a lot of people liking or disliking the trailer. It would seem that just most people just don't care, and how can you blame them? Uh, Kevin Smith and his bait-and-switch plan did not work the first time. Nobody liked that first series. Well, that's not fair. Some people did like it. Uh, there was a few people that did, but the problem here is you did a Last Jedi with He-Man. <laughs> you split the fan base I would imagine there's probably more people pissed than happy, too. But you split your fan base, which is never a good move. It's kind of stupid, but, I mean, brought He-Man back. And instead of He-Man being a little bit more central to the plot, they decided to make Tila and Evil Lynn the main characters. And it's funny to me that the first thing that they put out for this, I think there was a, tr a little teaser trailer, but this is the first real thing they've put out. It's a minute 46 seconds of an action scene, and it's all He-Man fighting. Now, what's funny to this is if you remember the first trailer, uh, the first trailer to the first series that Kevin Smith worked on was all He-Man. Nobody's buying this. There's no way He-Man is the star of this now. He-Man is likely the sidekick to Tila. Tila sent him on some kind of mission, and this is his one moment of a mostly Tila show. That's, that's I'm going to bet, guaranteeing you, is probably the case here. Uh, but yeah, this minute 46 seconds, it's all He-Man fighting, and it looks cool. The action's great, but guess what? This probably is going to be the exception. So I would say that he's probably not the main character of the show. I mean, that's why it's still called Masters of the Universe and not E-Man, as it should be. So why is this getting made? Because I know the first one didn't do that well. It fell off the top ten real quick. I'm going to tell you why it's being made. The toys sold well. All those toys, I don't know what this is. Uh, when you search Masters of the Universe, uh, this pops up. Because I, I wanted to see what's the coverage of this. Because you know the media is going to just jump all over it. Aside from this, which is from July 18th, talking about how that Masters of the Universe movie is dead. Uh, you have articles like, He-Man's Arrival had a terrible impact on one of the Masters of the Universe. Netflix's Masters of the Universe Revolution reveals first look teaser. And then there's this toy review. And that's what really got me to want to talk about this. These toys. And this is apparently a Mondo toy. And it's a $500 Battle Cat, <laughs> which is insane. But you know what? Someone will buy it. Someone will buy this $500 Battle Cat. All these toys that come out, like there was a whole like Legends line of the Masters of the Universe characters, the Kevin Smith show, and they all looked good. They're all hyper detailed and very nice looking. And I guarantee you, those sold like crazy. And that's why we're getting this new series because the toys sold. Everybody ran out and buy them and bought them. They're probably going to run out and buy the toys for this series. And that's what's going to make it successful. you got to stop buying this shit. It's not the views. When it comes to a show like this, 
not the views that they care about. It's the toy sales. A hundred percent. But you're down here. All the comments now are bad. And there's not even that many of them. There's 2,000 comments. Not a lot of interaction on a trailer like this. There should be more. Which tells me that the hype for this is just not there. No one cares. That's the damage that Kevin Smith has done with his bullshit switch and bait, bait and switch show. The scene where Tila told Adam that she was his father gave me chills. So nice of them to dedicate a trailer to the side character. Anybody buying it? Six replies. Cry more. This guy says sick burn. Tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. I'll be surprised if He-Man gets more screen time than this. I like the part where He-Man revealed his fabulous secret powers at the end. Uh, this person accurate says one minute, 28 seconds of He-Man and 20 hours of Tila. This feels way too much like a classic He-Man adventure. Too good to be true. I love the part where Tila Andrea and Evelyn are going to twerk like She-Hulk against the patriarchy. <laughs> My favorite part was when Tila kicked the whole thing off by singing the words, Imagine There's No Heaven. Kevin Smith has still not apologized to Clownfish TV. So nice of Netflix to share all of next season's He-Man scenes for free. I'm assuming they are going to bring in She-Ra, and she will be the main hero this season. That's actually an interesting. That's actually an interesting point by him. They could do that because the the other Netflix show. That's its own thing. That's a that's a spinoff. There is that's his twin sister, She-Ra. They could bring her in here. I don't know the legality of that. If they could really do that. But, you know, that is a possibility they could have. Imagine she shows up, the accurate she, uh, She-Ra. <laughs> and then, yet again, He-Man is sidelined by another woman. <laughs> I feel bad for you, He-Man fans. You're getting some cool toys. I can't, those toys do look cool. I'm not even a huge He-Man fan. And I almost bought that He-Man figure. I almost bought the one, the, uh, not the main one, but the barbarian he man. Just because I thought it was cool, the axe and stuff. But I I passed on it. So like, well, I don't want to support this. This is what's beginning that mage. This is why we're getting an, a sequel series. I got chills when he Herman said or he man said I am Iron Man. So yeah, no one's no one's buying this. Everyone is in the everyone is in the comments saying it's bait and switch and this is probably going to be the most he-man of the entire show and I, I don't think that they're far off to be honest it probably is you can't trust kevin smith he certainly isn't giving fans what they want with these shows so i just think it's interesting lots of backlash lots of backlash anyway let me know what you guys think about all this i'd like to hear from you also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.